Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in yesterday's video you saw the latest stable update for the Xiaomi Poco F1 that is 10.3.4 and that had a lot of features and just today I noticed that a new beta is out. Now remember this is not a public beta, this is a closed beta so there are certain things that are not really you know intended towards the public and there will be a few more bugs maybe but yes there are a lot of exciting things that are there in this particular update so today's video is a quick look at what the change log is and what can we expect in the next one or two months in the next upcoming stable updates because they are trying a few different things so let's actually get into the video and before we do that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now we are running the 10,000 subscriber giveaway we are you know almost there just 500 subscribers away so share this video as much as you can like it and leave a comment below if you have participated or not because one lucky user will get a Zenfone Max M2 the 3 gigabyte variant now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to have a look at the Pocophone F1 once again but with the latest beta that is 9.4.8 now remember this is not a global beta this is a closed beta which is intended for xiaomi's hand-picked testers and that is the reason we don't have access to a few things like the change log and stuff at the same time you cannot install it through updater on a locked bootloader for this you need to have an unlocked bootloader you need to have twrp installed and from twrp you can go ahead and flash it and it should work just fine at the same time a dirty flash if you're on the latest 10.2 3.4 will certainly work now what I mean by a dirty flash is if you are on 10.3.4 and you go to TWRP and flash this particular full ROM your phone will boot just fine you will not have any force close or any other issues at all so I did try that at the same time I have done a complete factory reset because whenever I install a new update I prefer starting afresh that gives us you know a bugless experience so first things first let's go to settings about now as you can see here it says MIUI 10 global 9.4.8 beta now this is as I said a closed beta and the best part about beta softwares is if you look at the security patch it is already 1st of April 2019 so we are already on the 10th of April so just within 10 days they have updated the security patch so good job there Xiaomi now apart from this if we go to system updates obviously you can check for updates and stuff like that but if you go to check the change log in what's new you will notice it says you don't have permissions to access the update log make sure the account you signed in with has the required permissions now what this means is this update is intended for a few select people nonetheless we have access to a screenshot which will allow us to have a look at the complete change log of this particular ROM and there is something interesting that I would like to share with you guys let's quickly have a look at the list of changes so change log for Pocophone F1 MIUI 10 9.4.8 so permanent notification new charging animation i will show you that now miui style bar change that is another change now this dark mode is a problem for me i will tell you that why battery icon change for fast charging new game booster mi9 gaming booster in poco that's something that we saw yesterday added special feature option that's in settings live wallpaper on lock screen fixed okay new explore features 4k 64k 30 was already there new touch firmware optimization and bug fixes important bug fixes face unlock in app lock and latest android security patch so once again they have mentioned this that the touch firmware has been updated time and again a lot of people have been complaining that the touch on this phone is not as great as a flagship phone should have so now the touch firmware is updated compared to the 10.3.4 or not i'm not really sure but to me it feels more or less the same and as you can see over here the animations are not as fluid as they would be on a stable update now first things first which i really really noticed over here is that if i go to settings 
and if I go to display now usually this is the place where I should have a dark mode option at least on the note 5 pro and note 6 pro they do have the dark mode option over here and it is not available for me in the Poco now is it because of the account that I'm signed in or any other reason I don't really know and this is the very reason I had to do a factory reset because I was in an impression that after I factory reset all the you know features that I included like dark mode should show up at the same time I have gone to additional settings and then developer options so that I can you know go ahead and check if something called as night mode is available but there is nothing called as night mode of which is available so is Xiaomi you know making the updates in such a way that you will get certain features or access to certain features only if you are signed in with the correct account I don't really know and if any of you are installing this particular update on your poker phone let me know in the comments section if you are able to see the dark mode or not now, apart from that moving on further there is a new charging animation which is really really dope let me go ahead and show you now I'm not really sure if it will make its way through to the stable update but if it does then I don't really mind because it looks really really nice so let's connect a power bank over here there you go now for some reason I don't know it's probably the purple accent or something this looks to me something like a Huawei charging animation uh, I might be wrong you can let me know in the comment section but yes it, it looks very very nice and uh, I am charging using a you know power bank that is by Xiaomi that is MI power bank 2 and uh, that is the reason it gives it a quick charge notification it also says over here ch charging fast apart from this if we go to the home screen now over here you see that the battery bar turns green when it is charging and if you pull down the notification drawer you will see that over here there is a fast charge notification so those are some small changes but just like yesterday's update we do have a game booster mode so I don't really think there is any other change apart from what we had yesterday so PUBG mobile is there everything is exactly the same so this is something that we covered yesterday and uh, if you've not seen that video yet go ahead and you know check that video out because uh, that has a lot of improvements as well that particular update now next thing if we go to settings and if you scroll down you will see that you have an option called explore new features this is nothing but uh, you know segregation of the settings menu in which you have a quick ball one-handed mode and second space that have been put into a separate sub menu as always you have the MI pay and uh, dual apps and all the other things emergency SOS has its own place now so that you can customize your full screen display and apart from that if you go to display and if you go to contrast and colors you can see that now you have an option to set warm cool or default and you can set increased contrast standard and automatic contrast so that is another neat feature that has been added now apart from this I have not noticed any particular bugs or any other issues because it's just been one one and a half hour for me on this particular update and uh, to me it looks like a welcome addition that they are adding dark mode in their beta updates that means that the dark mode should be coming to the stable update soon and LCD or LED I really like dark mode user interface so I really hope Xiaomi gets it quickly to the stable update so if there's anything else that I missed or anything else that you'd like to know about the poke phone please let me know in the comments section for now that was it for this video do participate in the giveaway and please like share and subscribe as much as you can this is Kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye